Hey everybody, in today's lesson I'm going to show you how to play Rise Above by Black Flag off of the Damaged record. And before we begin, remember to subscribe to my channel. I'll be posting new uh, guitar videos every week. And if you uh, like this video, remember to like it too. And here we go. Okay, so one of the first things you can do to sound like Greg Ginn um, and Black Flag Records is he will turn, he will roll back his tone knob um, on his guitar about halfway. Um, and also it gives it a little bit more of a fuzzy tone. And then he uses a lot of solid state amps. So that also gives it that kind of more, I guess, metally fuzzy tone as, as opposed to that bright, like, cutting tone. So um, the beginning of the song starts with this uh, uh, pattern. And what you're going to do is you're going to put your uh, middle finger at the seventh fret of the A string. And you're going to put your first finger at the sixth fret of the D string. And it gives that kind of weird, like, out of key tone. And you're going to play these triplet notes, so it's one, two, three, so. And then you're going to work your way down uh, the fretboard. So it's going to go. And if you want to play it a little faster, you can use alternate picking. basically all there is to that beginning part and then uh, you're going to play a G power chord up to an A power chord so putting it all together and then it does this part again up to a C power chord, E power chord, F power chord, G power chord. So I'll play it all the way through. And after that part there's just going to be a, a long pick slide. So you just take your pick and... And then it goes into the verse. The verse is going to do this kind of notey thing, which is very Greg Ginn sounding. So, uh, so you're going to put your, um, again, uh, like you were playing those chords from the beginning, you're going to put your middle finger on the fifth fret of the A string, and your first finger on the fourth fret of the D string, and you're going to do this kind of notey pattern. So it's just... And then you're going to play uh, that similar rhythm from the intro. And then it goes into the chorus. So again, uh, it's still all power chords with some palm or with some uh, kind of chunka chunkas. So, um, and that's basically it for the verse and the chorus. All right, so now we're going to come to the lead. And to start off, you're going to bridge your first spring finger over the 10th fret of the B and E string. And then you're going to push on the 12th fret of the G string with your ring finger. So. It's just a Chuck Berry style bend. And then he's going to slide down and uh, bridge his uh, first finger over the 3rd fret of the B and E strings. And slide up to the 5th fret. And then the second half of the solo gets more like what Greg Ginn kind of likes to play, which is kind of like a, uh, it's kind of like a, I don't even know how to describe it, but it's like an out of key kind of, uh, like out of control version of like the first part. So what you're going to do is you're going to go back up to the 10th fret and you're going to kind of play back and forth with your index finger and your ring finger while sliding up 
and if you and he doesn't pick like half the notes properly they're kind of they kind of come out like like that and that's kind of his sound and you're gonna just work your way up to the 15th fret so it's gonna go something like this and you're gonna do uh, um, alternate picking on that and you can hit just random notes and it sounds cool and then he's going to kind of go back down to where he did that bridge on the third fret. So you're going to go. And you're going to do kind of the same thing over here, where you're just kind of maybe you hit a little bend in there. Maybe you just kind of and hit these off notes. And it gives it that kind of trademark Greg Ginn sound. So again, with the lead, you're going to play something like this. Again, it's not exactly what he's going to play, but it sounds close enough that it's uh, a, a lot like what he's playing, and those are the kind of the positions he's going to put his hands. Um, so that's it for this video. Uh, if you like it, remember to like this on YouTube and subscribe. I'll be posting new videos every week, and I'll see you guys next time.